welcome back to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. If you do trade gold and silver, there's one special date that I mentioned in my previous analysis, and I'm going to mention it back today again. You do need to keep that in mind, and which is February 14th or 15th, 2022. A very important bottom is expected to be formed around this date, or uh, I would say on this date. So a very important bottom is expected to be formed on this date, especially in gold, and I'm expecting that silver and platinum will actually follow gold uh, as far as the reversal pattern, uh, the bottom is concerned, as for the uh, time frame for forming a bottom is concerned. Now, what does that mean? That means we're going to go crashing down and form a bottom. Does that mean we're going to go uh, side waves and create a bottom and then the state will uh, come in action? We are going to all dis discuss all of that on our chart and see uh, what's happening. A couple of very interesting things that happened uh, last week and and those things are very very interesting and they they are bringing back in in, in the point uh, first of all we can see let me this is the hourly chart on gold and we can see that on this particular event we can we see we have seen the bearish candle uh, this is the the candle when actually uh, Bank of England declared uh, increasing the interest rate all right so we definitely saw the bears coming in but soon as soon as the bears came in the bulls took advantage of it and then pushed the prices up then back in again today this is the uh, the price action early in the morning on friday and this is what we have seen very strong job reports uh, from coming out from us and then we have seen that the prices actually went up so the structure is yet not complete if it was complete prices definitely would be going up but some sort of accumulation is happening on a smaller time frame. We can definitely see uh, that bulls are coming in, bears are thinking they can push the price down on in gold. And this is very, very dangerous uh, indication for people who are betting on uh, the interest rate being negative or being bearish for gold. Because we have seen at least one example where the Bank of England drops its, its, its rate and then we have seen the jump in the price actually. As soon as it dropped, the price went up. And similarly, we can see we have seen a stronger uh, job reports coming out of US. We have seen the numbers, uh, uh, strong numbers, and we have seen the price of gold coming and dropped and then went up back up again. I was expecting today, and I yesterday gave a, a forecast that you were expecting for the price to rally, but it looks like the correction or the accumulation pattern is yet not complete. And this is all. This is when your fundamental analysis do not match with the price action. A lot of uh, these big bankers and big investment uh, firms are definitely looking at these small details. And they, d they can say uh, that although the bear uh, action did occur, but it, did, uh, it was uh, overshadowed by the bullish action or the bulls. And bulls are mainly concerned right now the, the amount of inflation. And all the governments throughout, almost every single country uh, throughout the world have created so much, uh, you can say, paper money, and which is about to create major inflation. It's going to kick in sooner or later, but it's going to kick in. And that's what we're seeing the signs from over here. Uh, so we f what's going to happen on gold and silver? You're going to discuss gold and silver. First of all, I'm thinking that the pattern is yet not complete as far as the accumulation pattern is concerned. I'm expecting there is a possibility of prices shooting up a little and then coming down uh, and then we'll go up. This is a smaller time frame analysis for gold. I'm expecting that we uh, have not probably create, completed the accumulation and that's why I'm saying a little upward and come down is expected and then you're expecting for the price to go up. This upward can actually push uh, right over here too. This upward can push right over here too and come down or it can actually come down from right over here where it is already existing. In both cases, the, prob the, c the point here is that it looks to me uh, that we are still in the accumulation pattern on a smaller time frame. This is on hourly time frame. And then we're expecting for the price to go up. So let's go back on a four hourly time frame or you can also utilize a daily time frame. On a four hour time frame, we can see the, the waves better uh, which are occurring on a daily time frame. That's what. So I'm expecting a couple of uh, important uh, lows that we have already formed. Uh, I'm expecting that the uh, the candle, uh, what, what's called the the flag pattern that we are seeing on the bearish side is uh, probably not going to work out. We were looking at the the flag pattern, and a lot of people on, on the bearish side were actually utilizing utilizing that, considering that we have seen uh, 
the first leg and then we have seen the the break of the flag pattern and then you are expecting jump up again and a retest of that area and then you're coming down again I do not think it's gonna happen however if prices uh, do come below this very important which is 1778 we should expect for the prices to fall further low at around 1750 area at least this is the least amount that expected when prices cross 1778 area uh, so my concern right now is, is it looks like that we are heading uh, on the opposite side or opposite opposite side which is on the bullish side so it's too early to say uh, but I'm expecting that a new high is expected and then we can expect for the prices to form this form this bottom is expected whenever this bottom is expect uh, I mean wherever wherever it it occurs in terms of the price target the time target remains same which is uh, February 14th or February 15th so that's the important we have not much time left as far as uh, uh, time in terms of day trading uh, um, time in terms of trading days we have only like six or seven days left in terms of trading days and gold is getting there on that time so I'm expecting an um, important low is expected another possibility is there certainly that price may not shoot up uh, beyond this resistance line it could actually stay in this line and form actually uh, a correction beyond that point which is we can there is a possibility that if prices go up and find the rejection in that case it is possible for the prices to stay above this particular support area all right which is right now resistance for the bullish price movement I'm expecting that if we have we do see a double top I'm expecting that the price should come uh, around and uh, found support in this region uh, the whole reason is because we are seeing accumulation on a smaller time frame analysis and that's why I'm anticipating the price should go up and then we, if the resistance comes in if the sellers comes in at this time we should the see the prices fall back at least in this region and then go up or if the price can actually bulls can actually manage to uh, shoot the prices beyond the resistance line remember this is the top line from the for the triangle pattern or the accumulation pattern that we have seen from last year and a half so this line is very very important so keep in mind that uh, the, just keep in one uh, keep in mind one thing first of all that the the fundamental analysis as far as the interest rates are concerned that the uh, Bank of uh, not Bank of America but but Federal Reserve uh, is going to actually range increase the rates and it's going to impact gold in a bearish way it looks so ideal uh, but we have seen that per price action is not actually going in hand with that uh, fundamental analysis it's rather going on the opposite direction and that's giving us concern that actually uh, first of all the geopolitics is happening uh, is coming back into action definitely if you guys are not aware the problem with Russia and and the NATO forces in uh, in Ukraine area so that is definitely playing this is definitely one factor which is bringing a lot of uh, people who consider gold to coming back to gold uh, but in, in what happens on a smaller time frame we are well aware of a, on a larger time frame and which is that we are going through an accumulation pattern and we have seen this large price movement we're going through the accumulation pattern and by the end of this pattern the prices should move up but what I was discussing is on a smaller time frame remember I was talking to someone the other day events are not one event on its own it's rather um, a series or a sequence of events or small events so uh, the thing the way things are looking right now they're very bullish uh, we are bu very bullish for gold at least and next seven to eight days we should be looking uh, to see a bottom forming in gold let's have a look at silver now silver is interesting uh, in that that silver has yet not actually broken the support from that top uh, if we can draw the support line from the top we can see that silver has yet not broken that support I'm expecting that the next week probably in the uh, first couple of days we should expect the price to go up from a uh, double top right over here and then we should see some sort of correction all right and if the pattern this pattern is yet not complete in that case we should uh, see the price to create uh, some sort of this action all right so both we are seeing kind of we can see 
that the price is expected to go up across the, the top and then a lot of you can see a lot of accumulation is already ha occurring for the price to up even though one price down may occur before the ri larger price upward all right or in that case we might not see a, a lower bottom forming uh, because the the support the horizontal support is quite important this one which I'm talking about right over here so this support is quite important right over here we are already seeing double bottom forming around the same area that's why there's a probability that we might not actually uh, see this kind of behavior there is a possibility that we can actually see a higher a higher high as far as the price action is concerned all right and this is both uh, possible definitely but in terms of the larger price movement I'm expecting that we are gonna see bullish price movement uh, first of all double bottom is a very very important uh, support pattern we are already seeing that support pattern on a daily time frame here is the four hourly time frame which is actually uh, you wanna see the the waves occurring without the within the daily time frame so we have seen uh, first of all first part of the correction maybe second part of the correction and third part of the correction which is forming double bottom in that case we have seen the first impulsive lag and a huge correction alright so that's why I'm expecting the price should go up uh, form some sort of correction and then go up forward uh, uh, to give us more um, strength in terms of um, buying power in, on, in silver so this is I'm right now uh, considering that we should be going up in both gold and silver at least this is what it is bringing uh, being brought from our silver analysis uh, technical analysis and gold couple of uh, points that I have not mentioned which is this top if price actually st goes straight away and do not come back and straight go go goes away and crosses this particular top that means it's definitely going to go up to that area so this important point is very important we should keep in mind that important support and resistance areas along with uh, the price patterns as well as we have seen a similar pattern or similar target for for uh, gold uh, let's get back to four early time which is this particular resistance area let's say that we are going to go all the way up and we do not come back and we cross that area which is 1829 in that case we are definitely going to create a top or somewhere around 1854 or at least this is going to be the least target for the prices when they cross 1829 so this is the important point that we can see uh, from first of all this price analysis is small time frame analysis the larger trend is bullish on gold and similarly on silver as well the larger trend is seems bullish on silver this up and down is a small time frame analysis and you should deal with that in that regard as well Wish you good luck with your trading. Thanks for joining me on Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen.